Hello? So we are back here. Yeah? This time we have a job. It's a nice one. We have a uh, picture on LCD, no light. Picture on external uh, LCD. LCD. So we have a laptop with black screen, but it is picture there. Yes, yeah, so now the laptop is on, and you can see the writing there. I don't think you can see them. But anyway, the laptop is on. You can see here the it is, but it's no backlight. No backlight. Yeah. So that's the problem with this one. The good part is we have a picture. And that's fine. Because the backlight circuit can be repaired easily. Sometimes. Yeah, safe, yeah. Okay, sorry for that. So the screen is open. What do we check first? Yeah, this was never open, so probably this is the original screen. First, we check if we have 19 volts on the connector. The connector it is plugged in properly. So let me plug the charger. Power up the laptop. Good. And now we can check with the multimeter. Minus. Plus. And we have nothing. My multimeter is good. Yeah, it is good. That's not good. We have no voltage. So here is it's supposed to be 19 volts for the inverter, yeah? And it's not 19. So 
So let's get the charger out. Let me get the battery out. It's very important because the battery is um, providing 19 volts even if the laptop is off. And now we can take out the connector, the screen connector. This one. This sounds like water damage. Looks like. Yeah, let's let's check together. Okay. So what do you think? I think we have a water damage now. Let's see the pins. The pins are final soldered on the place. The connector is fine. Let's see the connector. We can clean it, but looks fine. Yeah. Let's see. Let's clean first. But I don't think the cleaning will solve the problem. Charger. Power on. It's on. So I have picture but no backlight. And no, no voltage. We don't have 90 volts on the screen. Mm -hmm. What we are doing on this case? You see the the fold just changed quickly from a LCD job to a to a motherboard job. Actually the screen is not LCD, it's LED. But our job here it's ended. The problem is the motherboard. Let's pull back the screen. I know, can be even the screen can be faulty, but my first first problem what we can see is no 19. So we have to we have to fix this. We need 19 there. And no, I don't think it's the the ribbon cable, the screen ribbon cable. I don't think it's that one. On the screen ribbon cable, you have around three or four wires, which is carrying 19 volts. 
not only one. Okay, let's open that up too. How hard can be? Can be a fuse, can be a resistor. But nothing major. So I didn't expect nothing hard. I don't expect a hard job. I can't take the DVD drive out. Mm. Keyboard, plastic clips. Okay, a lot of dust and things. Probably even uh, even on the keyboard is liquid damage. You can see here some things. Okay, let's take the cables out. Let's open the laptop. Yeah, that's the reason why the DVD, it will not come out because of the liquid damage. Look on the back. As liquid damage. So the customer is quite lucky, you know, the laptop is still coming on. Okay, we have one more screw here. Okay. So everything is open here. Yeah, even here is liquid damage. Let's have a look together. It's near to the screen connector. So the, uh, So we don't know what that, that is doing there. We have no idea what the chip is doing. Let me get the sticker out. Yeah. Even behind of the sticker is liquid damage. Let's take the screen uh, connector out. Wow. You know what, the screen connector is looking okay. But look on the one from the board. So all those pins, which is meant to be 19. Are, you know, gone. 
So what I'll do, I'll clean. Yeah. I'll clean everything. Everything is clean. Now I will plug the charger and we'll check together to see if we have 90 in the area. Charger is plugged. Multimeter. Oh, the laptop can be off. We still should have 19 here. Here we have 19, you can see. On the multimeter, 19. So we do have 19. Here is supposed to be 19, but it's nothing. 4 volts, no. Here is supposed to be 19, and it's like 2 volts. No, you know what? This all three should be together, connected here. Yeah, this, it's a 19 volt shock. I think. It's not. It's not. Here is 19. This is a 19 volt shock. Yeah, this is 19. You can see on the multimeter. So this is the 19 volt shock. And all those pins. Maybe not. Maybe well, this is gone. Well, I don't know what that, where that, that pin is going, but clearly this pin is going to the 19. So I'll solder this to 19. But I think all three are going to the 19, but maybe I'm wrong. So I'll solder what I know. I know this pin should be here. Yeah, that's what I know. I'm just trying to be safe. Okay, we use our Russian flux. Let's see. Okay, let's use a wire. Okay, that looks better. That's fine. That's okay. I know it's a bit boring.
Let's start the laptop. First two pins from the left. And we have no backlight. No backlight. Hmm. So we done nothing. Let me check if we have the 19, yeah? We do have the 19, you can see on the multimeter. The problem is I put the screen back, so... <laughs> I don't know if the 19 is on the screen. So what I will do... What I will do, I'll take the charger out. I'll take the connector out. And I'll check on the connector if that pins are together, all three pins, yeah? Let me switch the multimeter and diode mode. No, this is not together. This is not together. So this pin is going here. But this is strange, you know, only one pin for 19. This is weird. Okay, the 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 way the pin is fine. So this is carrying 19 volts. On the other side, on the other side. We don't we don't have uh, the reading on that pin. It's no reading. So what what I want to do just to have a look just to have a look here inside because we try to see exactly what wire are going up okay that explain a lot of things so what do we have here What's this? These are two wires. What these wires are doing? What are doing there? Keeping in mind that in this side, so I suppose these are the 19 volts wires. Huh? I want to check if together are beeping. That's what I want to check. So let's see. Just want to see if they are connected together. Yes. No, oh, I did have zero zero reading. Give me a second.
Let's check again. So this one and this one. And check on the multimeter, it's zero zero. Yeah? So these wires are together. These are 19 volts. They are both meant to carry 19 volts on the top, yeah, on the screen. What we can do we can do a lot. Hmm. Let me find a wire. Okay. And we can solder the wire. That's one. Any flux. Because the wires are not equal, equal, I can't solder them. All the wires are soldered together. We have to solder here. Okay. And all what we have to do is to isolate our wire. Yeah. If it's working, we'll isolate our wire. Let's plug the charger. Power on. And we have picture. Yeah? We have backlight, sorry. We have backlight. Okay. Okay, this was an easy one. Very important when you have them back like just check the 19 volts most of the faults they are on the 19 volts maybe water damage can be something else but so check the 19 okay thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video see you on the next one bye